Hello everyone and welcome to another IBM developer video series Cloud Native CI CD with Tekton Part 3. My name is Dewan Ahmed and I'm a developer advocate at IBM. If you have followed part 2 of this Tekton video series, you might be wondering that you can manually run Tekton task and pipeline, but how can you automatically run the pipeline? Maybe you want to automatically run pipeline every time you create a pull request, put push code to a repository, or merge a pull request into the master branch. Thankfully, Tekton Triggers project solves this problem by automatically connecting events to your Tekton pipelines. This means if you need a mechanism to generate resources like pipeline runs and pipeline resources dynamically, Tekton Triggers allows you to do that. Triggers have four components trigger template declares a blueprint for each kubernetes resource you want to create when an event is received each trigger template has parameters that can be substituted anywhere within the blueprint you define a trigger binding describes what information you want to extract from an event to pass to your trigger template each trigger binding essentially declares the parameters that get passed to the trigger template at runtime an event listener creates deployment and service that listen for events. When event listener receives an event, it executes a specified trigger binding and trigger template. And finally, cluster trigger binding is a trigger binding which is cluster scoped. Now, the repository used in this demo is a cloud native Node.js application called Cat App. This leverages an API to display random cat pictures. In the first part of the demo, we'll create a manual pipeline run to build and deploy the application on OpenShift. In the second part of the demo, we'll define required trigger components and set up a GitHub webhook listening for pull requests to kick off an automated build. This automated build will create an application and a pipeline run dynamically and some runtime parameters will be passed on to the trigger template by the trigger binding. You can refer to the diagram on the right to understand the flows for the second part of this demo. In order to follow along, you'll need access to an OpenShift cluster, OpenShift pipelines operator installed on that cluster, and Tekton CLI installed on your local machine. We'll be following a tutorial published on IBM Developer Tekton Triggers 101, authored by Brandon Walker. Brandon's GitHub repository is this one right here, and your first step would be to fork this repository. I have already forked this repository, and this gives me a settings option so that I can make changes, such as adding a webhook. Next, will ensure that we are connected to our OpenShift cluster. So OC version shows I'm using OpenShift version 4.3 and I'm connected to my cluster. Now we create a new project. OpenShift projects are same as Kubernetes namespaces and we call this cat app. I have already cloned this repository so I can go to the Tekton subdirectory and list the files. You'll be seeing there is an additional file for pipeline run, which I have added on my own repository, which you can feel free uh, to use. But in the original repository, there is no pipeline run file. Let's inspect the pipeline fi file first. This file has two tasks. One is a builder task, and the second one is a deploy OpenShift task. This also defines the pipeline, which references to these two tasks under task ref. When we go to our OpenShift console, 
we don't see any pipeline for our project because we haven't created one but once we do oc apply dash f a pipeline would be created along with two of the tasks we can do tkn pipeline ls to list the pipeline which we can see on openshift console as well this creates the pipeline but the pipeline has not run yet because we know that in order to run a pipeline we need pipeline run pipeline run which is an instance of a pipeline let's inspect the pipeline run file here if you're following the article at this point you will be defining few parameters the namespace which is the project name if you stick to cat app you can uh, use the same value the URL would be different for you. Um, you you have to replace it with your own cat app repository and the revision is master then if you execute this command the pipeline run would be created you can see the values are uh, referenced here for my case I have hard-coded the value so line numbers 15 where I have added the, the revision as master line number 17 where I have added my own github URL and line number 23 right after port 5000 I sp I've specified the name of the project cat app let's do an OC apply for this pipeline run file to kick off the pipeline run the pipeline run has been created and we can go to our OpenShift console and we can see that the pipeline run has been created a few seconds ago it's running and we can even use the TKN pipeline run to list this pipeline pipeline run actually all right so it's running we can do a describe to see additional details so it specifies which service account this pipeline run uses it's using the pipeline service account which comes default from openshift pipelines operator it's showing the, the resources, the source and image. Now let's go back to the OpenShift web console to see the logs. So it seems that both the build and deploy has been succe successful. If it has been successful, we can actually go to topology view and see the running application the application seems to be running fine we can click this button to get different images of cats let's close this application and we can clean up the resources first i'd like to delete the pipeline run because we'll create the pipeline run dynamically later TKN, pipeline run, delete, cat app build and deploy. Yes, we'd like to delete this pipeline run. And next, we'll delete the, the resources. So this deletes the pods, services, routes, deployments, and replica set created for cat app now that's done we move to the triggers portion of this demo let's inspect the the yaml file for triggers first taking some time to delete All right, 
it's deleted so let's look at trigger dot yaml file and the trigger template has a resource templates pipeline run under it which looks similar to a pipeline run except it has some specific fields for example line number 21 generate name uh, it appends uh, a randomly generated string at the end of the last dash it references the pipeline build and deploy openshift pipeline which we already created let's look at trigger binding so trigger binding references the the payload parameters which gets from the github webhook so you can see clone underscore url and head dot sha these are the fields uh, that is being passed from the github webhook into the trigger binding and trigger binding feeds it uh, back to the trigger template we create a service account called cat app for triggers and then we also create role role binding as well this is because the event listener sync pod needs the proper RPAC configuration to function every event listener sync pod must have permission to read all tecton triggers resources so the pod knows what to do when it receives an event the event listener pod is what does the work of creating the templated resources so it must also have permissions to create any resource defined in the trigger template the role is bound to the cat app service account using the role binding at the end we see a, a route created as well the route exposes the event listener sync pod so that github can send events to it all right so now let's do an oc apply dash f on the trigger file so this creates all those custom resource definitions for tecton so we have the trigger template trigger binding service account role role binding event listener and route created at this point let's go back to the tutorial and check if our event listener pod is running or not so el uh, stands for event listener and the pod seems to be running next we do a curl command to verify that the trigger resources are configured properly before we actually create a webhook because this is much faster so i believe my url and a route underscore host variables are already set but for your case you'll have to set those values i'm doing an echo url so this is my uh, forked github repository and i'll also do a uh, route underscore host and it shows uh, my, my my route for the event listener so when when you're doing it um, on on your end this is the command that you need to set all right now we do a curl command this mimics a github pull request which should trigger um, a pipeline run which seems it went through successfully so we'll verify on uh, our openshift console so it shows it's the pipeline run is running 
so it was kicked off a few seconds ago so it seems that the webhook uh, can now be created in order to set up the the pull request webhook first we need to get the, the event listener route so we copy this command and paste on our terminal and we copy this output and go to our own github repository the forked repository for cat app so we go to settings under settings we go to webhooks so i already have a webhook and i'm going to delete this because i would like to show you uh, creation of a new webhook add webhook paste the payload url which we just copied from the terminal content type would be application json we don't need a secret let me select individual events because we only need to specify the pull request looks good add webhook the green check shows that github was able to actually reach the event listener on our openshift cluster once that is set all we need to do is create a pull request to test the trigger let's go back to our repository so we'll go to index.html file we'll make a small change adding uh, h1 header and we'll create we'll, we're not gonna commit directly because that won't create a pull request rather we select this and start a pull request so let's create a pull request and merge this pull request so this should trigger another pipeline run So two pipeline runs are one for the pull request itself and one for the merge. Let's look at the logs. The build task is running right now. And similarly, what we did Previously, we can also use the tecton command line to describe or look at the logs. Let's list the pipeline run. So both pipelines are running. And we can look at tkn, pipeline run, logs. To view the logs of this pipeline so the command line shows the same output as the OpenShift console so it seems that both tasks have been finished we go back to the topology view uh, and now you can see this this new pod right here this is for the event listener but we we open our application URL and we can see that the h1 header is applied we can still click this button and get another cute image of a cat. Now this concludes the triggers demo and we hope you'd try this on your own as well. If you have any question, please feel free to reach out. And that's a wrap for IBM Developer Video Series cloud native ci cd with tecton to learn more about tecton go to developer.ibm.com thank you